back onto here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Back onto the track. No. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, everyone. My name is James, and welcome back to the Mega Mod Pack. This is a series where I combine a bunch of mods into Terraria, and I have a bit of a laugh taking down some of the bosses. But it's been a very long time since the last episode, and I've seen a few rumors in my comment section that it's been canceled. And I do actually have to explain why I haven't been posting. I have a very good reason, so let me explain. Essentially, because I added so many mods to this series, it started to break. Every episode that I did, after like episode 30, I would have to deal with a bunch of technical issues because I, I broke Terraria. Essentially, I, I did too much and I broke my own series. I ruined the progression by adding more mods as well because some mods needed me to do stuff at the start of the game and then I hadn't done it so I couldn't do later bosses. And it was, it was a big jumbled mess. Every time I had to come onto the world, I had to fix the world. There were big chunks of the actual world missing that I had to repair and it's crashed. <laughs> it's just literally crashed. Oh no. Oh, the irony. That was just one crash. I think we're going to be okay, but it's reset the time. Very strange. So yeah, I had parts of the world that were completely broken. I've had to manually go in and repair. I've had big chunks of items just disappearing. I've had mini-map refreshes. I've had items just breaking. I created a bit of a, a nightmare for myself. So I've been working for the past couple of weeks because I've needed some motivation, honestly, to do it. To actually repair the series, I had to repair the world, which is, once again, uh, is just changed some of the stuff I've already done today. I've been repairing the world, I've been repairing my items, I've been going back and defeating bosses that I needed to do at the start of the game. I've done a lot off camera, I think it was 40 bosses at one point. Uh, so I've done about 40 boss fights off camera that needed doing. I've, I've tried to fix the series because I want it to be amazing. I want it to be perfect. But uh, I, I could never achieve that because it keeps breaking. But it doesn't matter. I'm at a point now where I can record and I welcome you all back to the series. How are we all doing? I hope you're all actually well. Right, let's go and make something new. So you may be wondering, James, what's with... That beautiful smile of yours. You got a nice smile. <laughs> well, it's a troll mask, and there's a reason for that. You guys love the cactus. I love the cactus as well. But I think it's time for an upgrade. We've had the cactus for so long, and I think we need something different. And I've got it here today. You guys are going to love it. It's a whole new James. It's a whole new show with this brand new armor set. This is made out of Lunar Luminite Bars. I have to go and farm these. Man, is this special, right? Whole new James, everybody. Lunar, Lunar Cactus Armor, everybody. Lunar Cactus Armor. What do you guys think? I think this is a, it's a game changer, if I'm being honest. They made a Lunar Cactus Armor. That is amazing. So here it is. Allows the wearer to run super fast. I'm actually going to try it as an armor set. Let's let's check that out. It's a full armor set. It's a whole new James, guys, right? New color, new everything. Would you call this super fast? I would not say super fast. It's a, it's a throwing set. Huh. That's kind of cool. What we got? 93 defense. Let's swap over to attacks here. 70. Ooh. Ooh, actually, that's... That's actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. Because we can't... Actually, wait, we can. We can make a new set of Calamity armor. But yeah, that's that's the new look, guys. What do you think? I think I think it looks dashing. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we've, we've really made an upgrade here. Oomph. Oomph. Very nice. So yeah, we can make a new set of armor. So let's check that out. Let's go into Filter Equipment by Crafting. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, though. And I think that's very obvious. It's called Xerox. It is called Xerox. So what is this? 12% increased damage and critical strike chance. Ooh, so it's one of these ones that are like standard, I believe. Right, let's make the helmet. And we'll also make the chest piece. So we've got a full set of Xerox armor. So we're on 70 defense now. We'll swap it over. We're on 99. So what is this? 12% increased damage plus two max minions. 7% increased damage and critical strike chance. I think if we were able to make like a really sick throwing weapon, 
We could probably outrank this, but then again, I'm not sure, and I've, I've not got any cool throwing weapons. There is one. What's that one? Is it called Elemental Discs? Let's check. Elemental Discs. I feel like, yeah, this is it. But you need a mangrove chakram. Oh, God, you need so... Oh, my God, you need a lot for that. Let's see if we can make some of these items. So, mangrove chakram. I feel like that is... I'm not even on weapons. I was on tools like a tool. Okay, so we need a chakram. I need a flame scythe. Flay. Oh my god, this is perfect. If I just have the, the bars now, we could actually do this. Sea sh Oh, we ruined it. We were so close. Seashell boomerang. How do you get it? Two victide bars. I haven't made victide bars in a little while. Victoid bars. All right, we only need two of them. That's good. See, sh oh my god, this is nice. So we got a boomerang as well. So we should be able to make an elemental disc now. No? What am I missing? I feel like I've got all of these, right? Okay, like I genuinely can't figure out why this doesn't work. I've got everything I need. I've got an ancient manipulator. Am I being a moron? Have I got, Ugh, I'm so confused. I'm very confused. I don't think I can make this, and I'm a little bit gutted by that. Oh, man. I might go and grab one off my other world, because obviously I've got another Calamity world with uh, from Series 1 or whatever. Because I feel like I should be able to make that. That feels unfair. I don't know why I can't make it. Oh, I should probably move that manipulator back in. Whatever, whatever. Right. Oh, man. That really... It's thrown me off a little bit. <laughs> like I'm like, okay. Now I'm like, oh, now I've got to deal with this issue. I'll be fine. Right. Let's get rid of uh, some of these weapons. I need to get rid of some of these. Um, cool. We'll put this one back in. Put that in. Well, sorry for the confusion, guys. Hopefully, I can edit them. Oh, why do I keep putting stuff back in? Hopefully, I can edit some of that confusion out because it seems a little bit silly. Okay. So, what I want to make now is a weapon at least. <laughs> if it would give me that. I guess I'll make the elemental ray then. Yeah, Elemental Ray, that seems kind of cool. It needs a bit of a reforge, that's alright. And then let's check out what else we can make. So, let's see. Show available recipes. Oh, why does that say it doesn't need anything to craft? Can I just craft it? Huh. That's kind of cool. Ooh. Oh, I like that. That's kind of that's kind of sick. <laughs> I love how it has no requirements, though. Right, let's check everything else out. Twilight Dawn. Ooh, ooh, you sound good. It'd be nice if they organized them by, like, power. Like, ooh, this, this one's strong, James. Make this one. Because I feel like there's so much you could probably make that I just don't know about. What's this like, anyway, this elemental ray? Oh, it's not bad. I'm going to have a little go at this. So I want to try and do... The the boss from the spirit mod today. I want to see what uh see what it's like. I don't know if you need to do this at night. So I'm gonna buy some pots. I haven't bought some pots in a long time, and I'm a little bit rusty. So buy tank, buy mage, get spirit buffs, get calamity buffs like this. Okay, and then it should be good because I do have a decent setup. Right, I'm going to go up here. <laughs> I'm so thrown off by the, the whole elemental disc thing. I really, truly am. <laughs> it's proper, like, thrown me off my stride. Okay. Okay, I can't spawn this in yet, so maybe nighttime? No? Do you need to spawn it in the spirit biome? Awaken the being asleep for aeons. Eons. Aeons? <laughs> Eons? Is that the spirit biome up here? We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, I've been busy while I've been away. Uh, one of the most recent projects I got to help out in is actually helping Python move. I never imagined when I met Python online many years ago, back when uh, I only had a few thousand, well, a few hundred, well, no, a few thousand subscribers. I definitely didn't have a few hundred. Back when I met Python, I'd be helping him move house one day. And the cool thing is, we actually live like around the corner from each other now. So um, it's been really good, honestly, it's been cool. Like living near a YouTuber, pretty sick. It's not bad actually, it really isn't. Okay, let's see, the Overseer. 
If I remember correctly, this boss got a lot of flack from me because it was bad. Like, it was very uh, poorly designed. If I remember correctly, and hopefully you guys can, can maybe, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Then maybe you can confirm. But I'm pretty sure this is the boss that I got onto a train, a railway track like this. Got on this railway track and just, just, just killed it. Like, on a railway track. That's why I thought you could summon it anywhere because I remember the railway track. Maybe you can't do that anymore. I know obviously bosses get changed all of the time. So this is going to be like a first attempt. I tell you what though, it makes me want to bring back the track because I feel very slow. But you can take it out of the biome, so that's obviously very clear. I might get a big long minecart track, I might do. If I can do that, that'd actually be pretty sick. Okay, I don't know if this is the first part of the fight. I know that it changes a little bit. If I also remember correctly, I had to like make sure that I was going like a, um, a certain speed, because otherwise like it would basically just leave. So I remember it being a little bit challenging. Or, or does it get faster? I think that might be it. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't. Oh, I've just realized I, I should have upgraded my uh, my um, shoes. I don't know if I can upgrade them yet, but I know Calamity obviously has extra shoes. And then one thing I was looking at with Calamity is a uh, Yuli Bloom. So Yuli Bloom is like an ore in Calamity. Oh my god, it is stronger. It's an ore in Calamity. And um, you used to be able to get it as you went into hard mode. But now I believe you have to take down uh, Providence to actually get it. So maybe you guys can confirm that as well. Look at me asking you to do all the homework. Oh god, this is getting actually kind of tough to be honest. I mean, all I'm kind of doing is I haven't set anything up for it. I'm not like, uh, you know, geared up or anything like that. I'm just kind of like just giving it a, w a bit of a wing. I think if I had a minecart track, I could do that. I actually do. That's that's a good fight. I feel like it's been it's been changed. I might go get that minecart track and set one up across the world. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Well, the track is now complete, but I've got to be honest with you guys, I ran into some more issues even building this. So I built this, and then I took a little bit of a break, you know, just to have a like, I don't know, like a cup of tea. And I came back, and various mods on the series had been turned off, which caused more breakage because they weren't enabled and I was reloading my world and stuff. And then <laughs> I turned them back on, and then the game was like lagging like crazy. So I try and fix that, and then my world altered a little bit. It's getting a little bit silly. I don't know how long I can keep this up because everything keeps breaking and I feel like I'm not making stuff like episodes to like a standard. I want to make them. I'm so, oh, I'm gutted. If I was to ever do this series again, if we were to ever do a mega mod pack, here's what I would pick. Enigma, Thorium, Spirit, Calamity, and I would also throw in like Juiced. All these extra other little ones, I feel like they're the ones that are breaking. Oh man. Let's see if we can do this, though. I've got all my buffs. I'm all ready. I uh, reforged the Elemental Ray because it had a terrible reforge. I also upgraded my boots, even though it doesn't really matter all that much because we're just on a minecart track. This is going to be fun, though. You've got to get it at the right, like, level to, well, the right speed to actually do this fight. It's a good little fight. But just to show you guys, we actually don't have many bosses left, so... Bear that in mind, everything is breaking, and look, these bosses, I don't know if I'm going to get to them, because everything is, is broken. Alright. Oh, it needs to be night time. Duh. Well, I begin. Okay. Right, got to keep the right speed, don't want to go too fast, also don't want to go too slow. Actually, that was a really nice speed. Because it does these things, it does these moments where it randomly stops, doesn't it? Okay, this is fine. I'm going to try and keep a very, like, nice pace with this. Don't want to go too fast. Don't want to go too far. Okay, this is working out really, really well. Look at that. I'm avoiding all of these shots. I think my main problem is going to be turning around, though. Oh, oh, no, no, no. This is what... Oh, my God. Right, let me just moan about that real quick. I changed that. See this here where it's, like, blocked because of the uh, the rope in the middle? That was one thing I I went back and fixed when I was building my track. And obviously because of the mods reloading and stuff, like, it's just completely forgotten about that. It's so annoying. I, I, oh, I'm stressed. I'm tilted, guys. And I'm salty. Right, behold my true power. Okay, we shall behold it. Right, he should start speeding up to us now, right? He should be faster in this phase. Okay, there we go. Right, we're doing well. We're doing well. We've got plenty of track left as well. If we start seeing the big tree, we are out of luck. 
Alright, we're doing great for health as well. Like, truly, we are doing great for health. Okay, I want to slow down a little bit just so I don't uh, miss out on this final bit of the fight. Okay, here he is. Alright, getting close. Oh, there's the tree. There's the tree. Okay. Oh, no. Back onto here. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Back onto the track. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Right, we're going to redo that. Okay, so we're in the final part of the fight again. And uh, I actually disabled my uh, my wacky mount this time, so if I actually try and latch back onto the mine track, it should just literally go onto it. Should have thought of that before, but you know, in hindsight, we're all a little bit smarter, right? So here we go. I know you can't see this boss being killed because he's kind of off screen, kind of behind the map right now. But believe me, he's taking a lot of damage. Alright, I've repaired that area too. So this is golden. So like, yeah, like, it just added some rope back into my world that I removed. It's super annoying. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Final bit of the fight. He might start, like, teleporting around a little bit more aggressively now. I'm not exactly too sure on what happens here. Oh, there you go. The Overseer has been defeated. My god, you took a lot of preparation to do. I'm going to have to destroy this minecart as well, because I can't use it for any other, uh, like, Calamity bosses and that. But there we go. Nice. Let's see what we actually got. Let's see if you've changed anything, Spirit. I will admit, it's been a long time since I've played you, and I can't remember how you end. Okay, we got some reversity coins, we got some blank glyphs, we also got a treasure bag and an ancient hilt material, a hilt of Aeon's past donator item. Ooh, it doesn't say who donated it though. Let's see, it makes the Falls' ancient blade. I feel like I remember that, yeah, because I remember this part here. Cool, I don't have one of these though, unless you actually make one. Oh, man, there's some prep to that. Well, you know, I, I can't commit myself to that, so let's open this up. So we got a hasty eternity charm. You are the champion of spirits. Launches a multitude of soul shards when damaged. Very nice. We also got an overseer's trophy. We got a soul expulsor. Ooh, and this is a magic damage weapon? Yeah, okay. How's it compare though? Well, it doesn't, but that's still cool. Uh, we also got some essence of eternity. Let's test this out on this dude here. Yeah, kind of cool. I mean, if it was homing, it would be a little bit better. Maybe it is. Let's test this out then. What do we get? So, it's a new set of armor called Shadow Spirit. You can also make the Guardian's Cloak. That looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. The Gauntlet of the Moon. Wow, you need a hell of a lot for this. And the Alpha Blade. How many things do you need? Because I could maybe make that. I don't know if I've got... Ah, I don't even have enough of this. Maybe I could redo the fight sometime. Maybe make this. It looks cool. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. I would like you to think about this for a little bit. This little idea here. But what do you guys think of me ending the series and moving on uh, to do something a little bit different? Because I feel like I'm running into all these hurdles and I don't feel like I'm reaching my potential. But I also want to finish the series. But we've got a lot to work through and the majority of them are Calamity bosses that will take a long time. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. If you're a very avid viewer, I would love to hear your opinions. Uh, but for now, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you had a fantastic day. It's great speaking with you. I've missed you all so much. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.